Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat something called a gold bar. Now I'm going to be honest with you, um, the temptation was too great. I did buy a packet of six and I've truthfully eaten some of them already. So um, I, the temptation was unfortunately too great. Normally I prefer to actually open the package in front of you guys. Um, but the temptation was just too great and I just didn't get banned at the time to doing a video on it for various reasons. So. So it's got the same old logo. So pretend I've just ripped this open now. Um, it just says it's got six for a pound. And yeah, it just gives the logo effectively. And says it's got six bars. So there. Say six bars. Turn it round. Stop six bars. Six for a pound. So it doesn't really tell you much on here. It does, however, give you some um, nutritional information. So this is the traffic light system, except that it's all in grey for some reason. So they decided not to put any colours on for some annoying reason. Often they put colours on to identify how healthy or unhealthy the food is. Not in terms of whether it'll go off or whether you'll go to hospital, but in terms of things like how much sugar it's got, how much salt it's got, that kind of thing. You know, so people don't eat too much sugar or salt. Um, it claims it's got 5% energy. Each bar, which means one of these, is it's got 5% energy, 5% of a daily um, amount people should have of energy. 7% fat, 20% saturates, 10% sugar, and 1% salt. And that's how much, um, compared to how much you should have in a whole day. Okay? On the back, it's got ingredients. Again, similar kind of nutritional information on the back. Um, I'm not going to bother reading it for once. But what makes this different? Okay. And I'm going to describe um, what they kind of describe. They say, Crunchy biscuit bars with a unique gold coating. And, and essentially, um, this is some sort of caramel coating. So this is like having a sort of chocolate biscuit, but instead of it being chocolate, it's caramel instead. And you'll see what I mean when I open it, okay? And if you look, it says crunchy biscuit bars with a caramel flavour coating. And then it goes on to list... Ingredients being caramel flavour coating, um, and lots of things like flour, crisped rice, barley, malt, partially inverted syrup, syrup sugar, and there's quite a lot of other things in it, okay? So I'm going to show you now, okay? I've got this because it's actually quite different, because it's different to the sort of thing I've, I've seen before, to be honest. But I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever had one before, either. But I have had things very similar to this. I've had bars that look exactly like this, but they're chocolate instead, okay? Um, but one thing I did notice is they've also become very small. Now, normally in the past, you might have things like this in a bag of like what they call mini snack ones, you know, for parties and things. But this is actually the full size. This is the full size one. I mean, they keep making things smaller and smaller, but this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, to show you what I mean, just how ridiculous it is. Why today stand this look? It's about the size of my finger. And in fact, I think my finger, it might just be a little bit bigger. Not much. So let's take this out of the wrapping, okay? Now, on the back it says TerraCycle Film, which means it's recyclable, in theory. Recycled in UK by TerraCycle, but it says do not um, recycle by the curbside. So, for example, I believe you can take this to like my local supermarket and put it in with things, and literally dump it in the supermarket. I don't mean just throw it on the floor. I mean they've got a special um, place to put it, you know. And so you can recycle things in our supermarket by essentially dumping bags and wrappers like this. Okay. Now I'm going to open it and show you what's inside okay 
This is the bar. This is the gold bar. It's got the word gold on it. It's starting to become a bit sticky, to be honest. So it's starting to melt in my fingers. There you go. And if you look, it's just like you'd expect from a chocolate biscuit, but instead of it being chocolate, it's caramel coated instead. If I now snap it, you can see inside there's a biscuit with the caramel yellowy topping, okay? And I say in fairness, I have had some already, so you know, um, there's no real surprise there for me, but the surprise for me was that they actually did it. I'm not thinking what do I mean. Well, there are caramel themed snack bars, right? But usually the caramel is as part of the filling. So, for example, the Crunchy Bar, they have some sort of caramel, solid caramel honeycomb thing in it. In a Mars Bar, they have some sticky um, um, caramel that they put in. Very, very sticky and, you know, sort of liquidy, but not quite, you know. Um... And this um, looks like solid, so it's not like it's runny or slightly runny or almost like, you know, like like a glue or anything, you know, I mean, you know. And if I just rub my finger over briefly, my, it doesn't all come off immediately, whereas if I had, you know, like um, my finger over the, the camera and the Mars bar, my fingers would be very sticky by now, it, it would all be coming up, up here, it would be sticking my fingers and going upwards with it. So, I've not tried, I call solid caramel like this, I've had solid caramel with holes in a crunchy bar, but again, I put it in the middle. It's the first time I've ever seen caramel on the outside of um. a biscuit or a sweet or anything like that so I think this meat is quite different you know it's a different idea you know I might start to become a bit like that we start to melt in my fingers but I mean Sadly, my main complaint is they're too small. But that's not, but you know, I don't know why they keep making things smaller and smaller and smaller. I do know, so we're ripping people off. And, um, hoping people don't notice. And also, they claim it's to help reduce obesity, but it's really just about making money. Um, on that aside, yes, I am surprised. It is very, um, Sweet. Um, I'm not used to having this kind of thing without the chocolate around it because I said with um, both a crunchy bar which ha and um, Mars bar they've got chocolate around the outside, so I'm not used to having this so much without any chocolate in there. But um, and so it's very, it does taste very, very sweet to be honest. You either like that or you don't. Um, some people, if they were being critical, might think it's a bit sickly, to be honest. Um, but I think it does taste okay, but you have to, if you can tolerate this slight sickliness of it, okay? Um, yes, it's definitely different. I'll give it that. I've not had one before, as I said, with it on the outside. I don't, I don't think. Um, I could be wrong, but if it has, it's been like a sticky caramel locked. A solid caramel like this coating like this so there you go do I like it yes will I have it again most probably yes sometime um, I just don't like the size and um, I'll need to see if it will repeat on me a lot I know I've already had about three of these and I like them before but I don't know if 
Um, if I had lots and lots of them over time, I eventually I might get bored of them or something. You know, if I might think, well, maybe I should have something that's not quite so sweet because it's very sweet in my opinion. Anyway, there you go, guys. A gold bar. I'll show you another one that I haven't opened. So, this is gold bar. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.